Strauss is as, as any two brothers could be. I couldn't see nothing wrong there at all. And everybody wanted to tell you that. My mother, you say, it was the last job in marriage. Hmm. Remember what she said? Her mother said to me, mother's brother, when he was getting married. He, he was a draper below Waterbot, in the city of Waterbot. They got past she says, you have the last place I knew when he was after getting the woman. <laughs> Didn't she? You have the last place I knew, she said. <laughs> Nicholas and Paddy Butler, two bachelor farmers in the Comoro Mountains in County Waterford, living the harsh lifestyle of an era long gone. The bond between them so great that they lived their lives entirely for each other. They were mostly untouched by the outside world, even appearing to shun female company. But even this simple life had a dark secret waiting to emerge. Farming is a thing, if you, if you like it, it's a lovely life, it's an awful tough life, but it is like the miners, huh? that's the way I put it down <laughs> now, that you don't care about the drudgery if everything is going out to your plan, yeah. and your cattle going right and everything, you're happy at it, and you're born into it, and uh, You'll get several fellas with big farmers and they have sons and they have no interest at all in farming and the sons coming up. They got too much college work. And fine farmers. A good though. college man never met a farmer. You can be sure of that. Yeah. <laughs> How much is this to him? So then you have to make it up what way to be in the animal. For the dog, you're giving them. See now. Uh, but that goes then with every different dog according to what they say, you know. You know, different dog. Yeah. Different dog. We'd never try an easy job. We'd go steady at it. And steady keep, And keep going. <laughs> that was our policy, you know. As, they say, working horses, you could kill them in a half an hour, mm. but you could have them as fresh and even if you took them steady mm -hmm. and got ten times as much done. You know, it all depends the way you handle them. Right. Leave them in their stride, like, you know, if you go a little... If you force them. them. It's the same way, if you put a person walking fast, mm -hmm. he won't last. <laughs> and if he walks nice it's and steady, steady. he'll keep going. <laughs> This is my father and mother. My father died in 1946. He was 76 years of age. My mother died in 62. She was 83. And this is myself when I was 12 years of age. Confirmation day. And my sister and brother taken with me on the same date. My mother died sudden. Uh, she did say strange things even before. That noise, Joe. <laughs> Wicked late she went to bed. Yeah. Wicked and late. He gave out. Do you uh, know he's he, he going to any bed tonight? The time we have to get up in the morning. Yeah. Uh, we're well, milk and cows that time. We're see? time enough. And she, she was a wicked woman to make you go right. to bed. Uh, we are time enough, says she. The noise is loud. I came in, I suppose, it was nine and a half, and I know, she says, I don't ever have a chat with Paddy. Uh, and I once had chat with them tonight. tonight. Uh, and that was our last night. That was our last night. I never seem to have a chat. chat with them. And you go to bed if you like it, but we're going to have a chat. Aye. 
Right. And she was pulled more with him than she was mm-hmm. pulled, given out to me, she'd right. be half the time. Right. But when he came to the pub grunge, mm. she wanted, and what she never said in I going away, good luck now and safe journey. I was going to a funeral, oh, yeah, and I was going to walk over, mm. and I was told in the graveyard and that she, my mother was dead. And she was up early, preparing for In a foot of foot all that morning, she preparing said, for me. You'll have to get to that funeral. It was a neighbour over here, neighbor his here niece was people. dead. Right. And uh, yeah, I thought she saw something coming, mm-hmm. the way she said things the night before, you know. It might be our last night together, whatever she felt. But she was and within she three or four days of 83, mm-hmm. but she was half going well, at the time yeah. now. Oh, well, because she, she wouldn't, like a fella said, be Jesus, she sees a hundred years yeah. ahead of her. Yeah. She wants you to get things done yeah. and she yeah. talked to grandfellas and everything <laughs> coming up. Oh, she'd be trying to get extra work done, more than we'd be looking for. <laughs> that, that was her ambition all the way up through life. Yeah. My father didn't care if it was never no, done. He, well, was, he was easy going. Right? Easy going, yeah, you know. Easy going, right? Go nice and slow it yeah. and take it as it came. Yeah. Do you miss him? Do you miss your, your old folks? Well, for years I did. Years I did, and time wore it away. I did miss it. When to come around to the time they died, I, I rather I missed the dates, and I often do. And yeah. I, I'd be delighted I missed them because I'd be thinking of hours and the minutes they died, and, and what happened at that time. And you would. I see no difference anyway, but they, they're telling me you can't do it out a woman. With all the equipment now, with electricity and cookers and everything, scintillating and everything, they says you can do it out a woman, no bother. Would you got married if you hadn't been in farming? I don't know. That I had never the choice. And when you were in farming, you were too busy at it, and you had too many things crossing you every day, and too many things that you, you could never decide. So we're going to see your kind again? I wouldn't say you will. What? You won't see your kind again. The oh, youth, no. The youth is getting married, wicked young. Wicked young. Whether, whether they hold on to the woman well, or not. Whether, whether their marriages will be a success or not. That's it. Some is. Some is. Some is. Some is. Some is. Some is. Mm-hmm. I suppose 80% yeah, of my life is yeah. a success. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Do you think a woman would make a big difference on the farm here? Oh, yeah, you met the right one. If you met the wrong one, you'd be ahead of a different one, Steve. <laughs> There's good ones and bad ones. Well, there are good ones and bad ones, Gordon. Which one would you rather have? Well, I don't know. The women, since they got the motor cars, you couldn't stop them now. They're all going off every day. The women says, you think he had a couple of women in the house the way that he's able to do himself up. So they had me on me. Whether to marry me or not, I don't couldn't tell you. Have you been happy here? Or... Oh, alright. Uh, alright. Uh, yeah. Health was good to us. And health means a lot. Yeah. 
And they, uh, they all walks the life. Of course, we were always mm. fun to cats and dogs. Dogs. We never wanted to go away too much from. <laughs> do you get on well together? We do. Oh, we do. Oh, we never. You. What other problems, if any, that come between you? Oh, talk it over. No, no. Chat it out. Chat it out. Couldn't do any more. Trying to solve it. Trying to solve it, which is the easiest this way. way out. Might be the hardest way when we <laughs> speak. That's, I'm sure that's the best way. <laughs> oh, I would. I'd change my life. All right, if I was young. There are better lives going than farm. Easier lives. What would you do? Oh, whatever job I take up, it'd be far better than working seven days a week. And ups and downs are no guarantee. They are guaranteeing some life, but they are no guaranteeing the family. Well, I have seven I'd be up, I suppose. Mm -hmm. For me, I'd say, for me, I'd say. Uh, Present to late, I suppose. Half eight, that night. Half eight. And that'd be. Old, all old time. Are you still in the old time now? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we're well, not, we, we, we have the two times, but... It don't matter what us. That's only when, only when they... Half seven is getting up time, yeah. and that's... Uh, only when oh, we... Oh, no, have, you were up at... I'm, uh, I'm up at half seven. You know, you, you seven. do have the... the you do have days to get up. I do, that's right. That's, that's and you'd be up half an hour before. I would, I would have You'd be up at... I have six, so... I'd be, I'd be up at seven. Seven what? Uh, seven o'clock on, on my time, the cook time. That's new time. That's new time. Yeah. 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 Well, I have mine cook o'clock right inside. But he yeah, have his watch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He have his watch the whole time. Mm -hmm. So how do you get on with the difference in the time then? <laughs> well, uh, we know. Well, according to the way we are going, <laughs> we know what time they are taking. <laughs> so, what's the time now? Uh, Coming up to half seven. <laughs> That's half eight. <laughs> is that your time or my time? <laughs> your time is half eight. <laughs> Do you leave your clocks the same all the year round? We do. We do. We do. One of them have new time the whole year. The whole year, I never changes it back. Because, because you have to go around that. Tw uh, the 12 hours of the clock and leave it dry. The cuckoo clock, you know. <laughs> <laughs> or the cuckoo would be wrong. <laughs> so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, me mother. When the new time will come in. <laughs> she'd be calling us with another hour. Well, another hour, double new time. Double new time. Okay. She had us over in the far over field at half four. She had us played. And no, no. we got. <laughs> she's persuaded <laughs> the devil. <laughs> and tell us, tis we were wrong. Tis we were wrong. So we had to cut out our time off. <laughs> 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 they put up the clock with new time and she still had it. I had another hour to it. 